Hello children, welcome to Notebook. I'm happy to see you again. I'm happier that in this video, I shall be sharing my feelings with you. I'm also going to share a very special story of one of my very special friends. Her name is Seema. But before I share her story, you should hear about my best friend. Children, my best friend is my brother, Ankur. I love my brother and play games with him. There is nothing that we don't tell each other. He makes me happy when I cry. He makes me smile when I am alone. Do you have a best friend like my brother Ankur? Well, my special friend Seema has one. She shares her feelings with her nanny and Ravi Bhaiya. Let's hear Seema's story. Seema's nanny always waits for Seema to return from school so that she could hear her stories. She is very old but loves to do all the household work herself. She cuts all the vegetables before cooking despite all the back pain she has. She cannot see or hear well. Nanny is one of Seema's best friend. Seema also enjoys with Ravi Bhaiya. Ravi Bhaiya teaches in a college. Students visit Ravi Bhaiya to hear him teach. Here Ravi Bhaiya is carrying a stick to college. He needs the stick as he cannot see and is sadly blind. Seema says but being blind does not stop Ravi Bhaiya from doing anything. One of the many things that Ravi Bhaiya enjoys is listening to music and chatting with his friends. It's quite sad that Ravi Bhaiya cannot see but no one would know that he is blind when he is without his stick and dark glasses. He is able to do all the work that he wants to do. Seema says, Ravi Bhaiya reads special books with white dots. These books are different from the books all of us read where there are words. Seema's Bhaiya reads the books by running his fingers over the raised dots that represent each alphabet. It's a wonderful thing to see. He reads faster than Seema. Isn't it amazing? These books are specially written for blind people who cannot see and read. Children, these books are called Braille. You must know about the Braille system of learning that blind people use. It is the only system by which they can learn. See how M, V and Q are written with raised dots in Braille. Once someone touches these dots, he or she immediately knows which letters they are. This is called Braille script. Blind people read Braille scripts by touching and feeling them. Seema says, Bhaiya has more feelings than everyone else. In fact, Bhaiya knows Seema so well that he can sense if she is happy or sad even from a distance and without looking at her. Do you see how powerful his love is for her? And so are his senses. In fact, he has the same feelings for everyone else in the family. If you really love your friend, you need not tell him. You can just share your feelings with happiness, love and care. Children, are you happy that Seema shared the story of two of her best friends with us. Can you name them? Yes, you're right. Nani and Ravi Bhaiya. Can you tell me why Ravi Bhaiya uses a stick? It's because he is blind and unable to see. So carrying a stick helps him walk around without hitting things that happen to be in front of him. Do you also know what kind of books Ravi Bhaiya reads? Yes, those are Braille books. 
they have letters written as raised dots. With this, we come to the end of this chapter. I am happy to share Seema's story with you. And I am certain that you have liked it. Take care and we'll see you in our next wonderful stories. Goodbye.